Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time you guys are viewing this video. Um, today's episode, I need you guys to subscribe right now because this is going to be a subject that it's not, it's going to take a, one of few, a few segments to tackle. We're talking about parenthood in an older age versus a younger age and just the benefits of both and we get to hear from people that dealt with both in, in their lifetime as far as you know having kids that are their older age versus their younger age and different individuals are just had them separately if you guys understand what i'm saying so you guys um just stay tuned we're gonna have we're gonna have a lot more conversations and i really appreciate all the love i've been getting on my morning show for you guys that don't know my morning show is live we get to talk live and have that live convo mondays wednesdays and fridays at 9 a.m so Let's just jump right into it and see what they're talking about. And um, let's see if you guys relate. If you guys have any similar questions or anything about it, or you're, you want to share your stories, leave a comment down below and we can all just get into this. All right? Love you guys. Let's see what we do. Having kids in your 30s or 40s versus your 20s, let's talk about it. So my husband and I have been married for 12 years, uh, almost 12 years, and we waited 10 years basically before we had kids. I have a three-year-old and a 10-month-old. So let's just dive right into the pros of waiting to have kids. For us, it was two big things. One, we wanted financial stability. We're both entrepreneurs. We both had our own businesses. When we first got married, we were broke. We had no money. We had debt, and we wanted to hustle and build that stability build that bank account so that when we did have kids, we would feel a sense of calm and not feel panicked and strapped for cash. So that's exactly what we did. Number two, we wanted to just enjoy being married. You never get that time back. Once you have kids, it does change. It is never, never the same again. You hardly have any time. So we spent 10 years traveling, going all over the world, using any extra money that we had to travel and do fun things together. And I don't regret that at all. I can definitely say that at 37 years old, I feel like I have seen a lot, I've done a lot, and I am 100% content being at home with my family right now the cons let's talk about it because there are cons to having kids later in life one of the biggest ones for sure is that you're tired right like you don't bounce back from no sleep which you get way less sleep when you have children like you could in your 20s you know so just life is more tiring i feel like when you're in your 20s and you have energy it's much easier to just handle the no sleep, handle the crazy nights, staying up late, feeding a baby all night long. When you're in your 30s and 40s, you definitely feel exhausted. But to be totally honest, that's kind of the only con I can think of. Unless you have trouble with fertility or, you know, you don't want to risk waiting, which I totally understand because that is a very valid thing. Females, you got to be honest about that with yourselves. If having a family is really important, you may not want to wait until you're 34, 35 to start a family because then you might run into issues and have to go to a different path in order to conceive. But having kids later in life was the best thing for me and my family. My husband and I feel so content at where we're at with our two children. We're financially stable. We've traveled. We've seen a lot. We've done a lot. And God blessed us with these girls at the right time. So I totally recommend waiting if that's right for you to have kids. There's a lot of benefits to doing that. You also have a lot more wisdom when you're in your 30s and 40s because you've lived some life. But it's amazing. Kids are amazing whether you have them in your 20s, your 30s, or your 40s. Just enjoy the journey. Soak up every moment. It goes by incredibly fast. As someone that had their second child at 37 versus the first child at 27, I'm going to give you a few things that I learned from having a baby over 35. Number one, self-care is not an option at this point. Girl, you're old. You're not going to snap back. You didn't even snap back the first time, okay? You just neglected yourself to the point where you just got up and you kept moving. You dusted yourself off. And you could do that because you had 20-year-old needs. But now everything hurts. So you're going to have to do your stretches and you're going to have to eat and you're going to have to sleep. And you're going to have to take a lot better care of yourself this time around. Number two, stop worrying about getting your body back. It's gone. It's not coming back. What you're going to have to do now is become the best version of yourself today, not yesterday. 
And number three, spend less time worried about your outward appearance and more what's going on on the inside. Trying to get your body back after having a child, worrying about what you look like on the outside and trying to be hot and trying to fit into the same clothes, mm, that's not really for you. Those are things that are for the male gaze. What you need to be worried about is your mobility, your hormone levels, reducing cortisol and making sure that you're not insulin resistant at this point. You need to be worried about getting your core strength back so that your lower back doesn't hurt. These are the things that you should be concerned about, not whether or not, you know, that guy over there thinks you're hot after becoming a mom. This is what I've learned after having another baby over 35. Leave what you've learned in the comments. Let me tell you why it's not a good idea. And before we get into this, we have to also understand that everybody's situation as far as their upbringing is different. So that dynamic in itself, that causes a different structure on when and, you know, is the best time. I have a baby at 40 years old. Taking my son. I can relate to her story. Look, I ended up having my son when I was 39 years old. He is now five years old and I'm 44. So the, the level of energy is not what it was when I was 20 some years old. See, when I was 20 years old, I was able to run for my kids. I was able to snatch them up if they were doing something they ain't supposed to be doing. I'm able to, you know, chase them down and, you know, be that mom of the year of, you know, athlete. Um, but when you start getting older, and your your energy level actually is not the same you know your, your kids be watching cartoon you might be sleeping if your kids wants to talk about something and you're looking at them like uh what are you talking about i was born in 1978 baby i know you was born in uh 2017 but damn like i, I get it we I had six kids over the course of 15 years, and so of course I'm a very different mom now than I was when my older kids were younger. I think when I was a young mom, I believed that I could control my children's behavior by imposing lots of consequences and taking away privileges when they did something that I didn't like. But as an old mom, I realized that it's a far more effective technique to let kids experience the natural consequences of their decisions and then have a conversation with them about it afterwards. Of course, it is really important to have boundaries, but I think it's even more important to have conversations. When you explain to your kids why boundaries exist and how they're going to help to navigate life situations, it's a lot more effective. I want us women to get over the having babies young, having babies old debate. It's so unnecessary. There's literally pros and cons to both. It's subjective to who you are as a person, how you were brought up, you know, what you've seen, what you know, it, like you cannot, there's no right answer. There's women with multiple children or one to a lot of children who had them young that wish they would have waited, okay? There's also women who never have babies or wait until they're older that regret it and wish they would have did it sooner. There's women that never have kids that regret it. There's, baby, there's women that have kids and regret it. Like there's pros and cons to both. Personally, I had five kids. I had five kids by the time I was 24 years old. They're all back to back. They were all single children, no twins. So for me, there's elements of it that, yeah, I wish I would have waited. But there's also elements that's, yeah, I'm 30 years old right now. I'm 30. All my kids are in, in school. Like, I'm a young mom and there's still pros and cons. You know what I mean? Like, I choose for my glass to be half full, I lay on the pros. You know what I'm saying? I don't regret my children or nothing like that. I'm not miserable, but there's some mothers that are. And there's some women that are miserable without kids. It just, it, like, this is so silly for y'all to want it, what, what you think to be the absolute. It's not absolute. It's, there's so many elements to this conversation and the conversation is irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Whatever is going on in your life, if you're good with it, be good with it some of y'all be having this debate out of jealousy y'all want oh having no kids to be the superior because of whatever you know or the women with kids want that to be superior because of whatever it's silly and y'all need to stop because it's unnecessary love your life regardless if you have regrets or made mistakes figure out how to maneuver life with them 
Grieve the life you thought you was going to have. And if you're a grateful mother like me, or a grateful woman to not have kids, just just be happy without trying to bring other people down. It's silly. And it's dumb. And I'm tired. Okay? Love y'all. I had my first child at 20. I like to do things the hard way. But anyway, the benefits of having a baby at 20 are few and far between. The best I can say is that you are young and you have boundless energy. So you can just overcome all of the obstacles that are going to be in your path. Uh, lack of self-confidence, lack of resources, lack of having a support group that understands what you're going through unless you're incredibly lucky. Who knows, maybe you're one of those lucky, really well off, super confident 20 year olds, but um, most people are not benefits of having a baby at 40 you are usually rather secure in yourself and in your uh, economic position but you have no energy and most of your friends have already had their kids so side benefit you get all of their junk spoiled to pieces has everything you could ever imagine you would need as a baby because everybody else is done with it and gave it to me which is awesome <laughs> And I have the benefit of knowing that most of the advice you are given about children is nonsense and you can um, pretty much go your own way. Anyway, I like being an older parent better than I like being a younger parent, but we'll see. I mean, he's brand new and I'm 40, so who knows how it's going to be when he's 10 and I'm 50, because 10 year olds take a lot of time and energy. But also, again, I'll have an established support group and lots of younger, older cousins. <laughs> Anyway, my thoughts. Two minutes. There you go. It seems that those who have kids early regret not being able to go wild in their early years. And those of us who wait until later, albeit are more stable financially, are then regretful because we tasted freedom and then we gave it all up. How's that feel? What I can say is having a kid is one of the most precious things and one of the most special things you can have on this earth. The time when you have a kid, health issues can come into play but i could only take it from a woman's point of view on when is the best time so you guys leave me a comment down below what do you guys think having a baby at a young age starting a family at a younger age or older age which one is better or which one worked for you if you're in that position let me know down below and we'll cover this all in my morning show okay love you guys and you know if you're new to this channel you know what to do to this channel subscribe